Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our special meeting for November 15, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. The council, administrators, chief, and uh, those watching on YouTube. Um, I'm assuming Mr. Bridge will be filling in for Ms. Burner, so yep. if you would call roll, please. Um, Councilman Cook? Here. Uh, Councilman Lindsay? Here. Councilman Roadwall? Here. Uh, Mayor Lowry? Here. Vice Mayor Grimm? Here. Councilman Bond? Here. Councilwoman Eagles? Yes. They're all present. Thank you, sir. And tonight's invocation will be done by Chief Trustee. Father, we thank you for the day and all that many blessings and many favors. Thank you for the wonderful fall weather. And thank you for the chance for the this meeting, Father, to do thy, the, thy work in this city, Father. Please bless our first responders, military, and their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> No action, no communication, no city manager's report from <coughs> members of the public. We don't have anybody visiting with us this evening, so we'll drop down to other business, which would be a uh, discussion for the city's uh, uh, budget. So I will hand it over to Mr. Bridge. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mayor and the rest of the council, members of the public watching us and the administration staff. Um, so we need to pick up where we left off. We do believe it was police levy. If anyone has any other information on that, you can let us know. But I think that's where we left. What was the fund before this? Just to make sure. Health Does this department. recall any of the council members? The yeah, health, we, health. we discussed that. Cause that's a wash in, wash out. In, in out. And out. Yep, yeah. we get receipt, we put out. Did we discuss, or I thought you brought it up, and maybe it was the last meeting, about looking into a potential sixth deputy? That's where, yeah, we'll talk about okay. that here. If this, we're going to start here. Is that all right with everyone? Yeah. Okay. He brought that up last week. You want to okay. scroll on down there to the expenditures. So right now, the contract call, <laughs> how we do it is a bill is for what we actually use, but we plug into the contract what it could possibly be. And what we mean by that is if we have five deputies, we budget for them to have the highest insurance plan, et cetera, just in case they get married or whatever. We're not caught with no funds. So that being said, right now we budget around 627 a year. That will come on, um, underneath um, that. Telling if you can lose Harris, you can scroll on down to the bottom here. So expenditures are pretty much the same year in and year out. Scroll on back up for me to the capital, sorry. Expenditures are pretty much the same year in and year out. We may increase a little bit for small tools or minor equipment, but generally it's, it's still the same. One of the things I wanted to focus on is that capital, because right now we have in there for a new cruiser. Well, we have an option here to add a six deputy, and if we add a six deputy, we have an option to not buy the cruiser, but to lease. If we lease, that means the maintenance and gas and everything's included in that car. Uh, the leasing price for 2024 is going to be fourteen thousand seven hundred sixty-four dollars and thirty-eight cents. But again, that includes the car, the maintenance, the fuel. Um, so if we decide to lease, uh, that capital purchase for the car will go out, which is a total of. And that's the car and for lighting out. We put in 50, 50 that and equipment. And equipment. So about 70 of that will go out to the fund balance, should we lease. We go back to the budget, please, and go to the ending balance. Um, right now, we're closed. We're projected to close at 475. Ms. Harris, did you do any kind of look on that to see where we might end up? Or these, these are still, you adjusted all these tightly. So um, do you think we're going to end with just about that much or a little more? What do you think? Um, it changes every day. I think they're, they're usually always um, less expenditures. We don't spend everything that's in it. These are always a not to exceed. So, right. yes, this beginning balance will, will increase because this expenditures won't be. But I have another uh, six weeks to cover. So that's where we're at right now, estimated, but it, it'll be higher. So our, our police levy estimate end of year balance is 475000 for, for 24. Four. And that's only with five deputies. If you guys want to add a six, it's going to add another, it's about, it's 124000 I'm sorry, 122296 for a deputy. So if we do that and add the lease on there, there would be the 122000 plus another 15000 for that deputy for the year. But again, that fund balance right now would go up 70 k mm -hmm. by taking the capital out of the capital. My theory with the, with this is we don't want we want to carry over some, but not too much. Right. We want this to be out. We want our these are a, a levy that our citizens pass and they pay into it for the purpose of having police protection. 
I am comfortable with adding that sixth deputy. I've talked to the police force. It's going to help them with the schedules. Um, so with your guys' uh, motion and, and all that great stuff, when it comes to the vote, um, we would like to add that in there. Ms. Harris, if you can go back up and just do some basic adjustments. Question, if I could, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, and this is probably more to council and in and you. The uh, would it be feasible for us to lease all of our vehicles, sell the vehicles we have to the county, and then just lease all of our vehicles <coughs> to them? Would it be in the long run cheaper on us to do that? versus us paying the insurance, maintenance, gas, and all that stuff? I think with new cars moving forward, yes, but I think with our existing fleet, I think you keep as it is, because they're paid off. Okay. And then, too, we're just paying for the gas and maintenance, which is, I don't think, nearly 15000 a year. So I think as we okay. go on and we replace the old vehicles with new cars, that's when we look at leasing opposed to buying. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sorry. the uh, I think for if we can lease a vehicle for 14000 I think that in the long run, it'd be cheaper than uh, us buying vehicles, and then mm -hmm. you know, then have to replace it. What every five years, I think the schedule was, or four years, something like that. Yeah, they they tend to they should be replaced when the use of life is ended, and vehicles sometimes go past that. But right. we like to keep our deputies in a little bit safer vehicles. But um, the uh, and the reason I say that if we would lease them, then maybe in the future by doing that we could add a seventh deputy. To, to New Carlisle. Sure. Especially when the housing, and maybe an eighth deficit deputy when the housing and development gets up and running. Absolutely, because they're going to pay 5%. Right. Points, so be paying, I mean, mm -hmm. that fund has a potential to grow, and and we could, I don't know how many deputies we could wind up with in the next five to 10 years. Sure. Ms. Harris, if you can take that 627 out and throw and replace it with that 734. And then we'll go down to the capital and take that 70 out. And that would be it. That's already voted on. That's fine. We can amend that. I'm just saying they're going to take Before, it out. with this? We're just going to look at the voting. numbers. It was, what, eight, nine years ago we were down to one deputy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that turnaround in eight or nine years is amazing. Absolutely. I agree with you. Can you scroll on down to the fund balance? Sure hey, Randy, do you think, and I don't you may not have any idea on this. I know that, you know, with, I mean, it's, you know, everywhere, not just with police, fire, McDonald's, anywhere. They have a hard time getting people, you know, with the police department. Do you think you foresee any time in the future they, I mean, they, would they ever say that we don't want to do a contract with New Cloud because we need to focus our people on our own, you know? Um, I don't think so because, I mean, we, it's a wash for them. And actually, I mean, it's, we get it, we pay for it. They don't have any involvement with that. Okay. Um, I, they didn't bat an eye when I said we want to go up one to six. Okay. You know, um, I think they're having staffing issues for sure. Um, but I think as long as we're willing to pay for their employee, I think it'll be okay. okay. I and mean, if it comes down to us, it may be an issue with they just don't have anyone. If we want to go like nine, ten, right. that's something down the road. Yeah. But for now, they did not bat an eye at that. No. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So with the adjustments and without closing the year, that puts that at approximately 438. Uh, I do believe it'll go up. Way before we close in the year out with all the expenditures not fully expended. And that's um, with six deputies? And that's with the six and leasing the, the leasing And leasing the, the vehicle. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, it looked, I think it'd be uh, fantastic if we could do that. Okay, just keep in mind that this is going to require multiple legislation pieces. And one, it's going to require the appropriation ordinance, which is given. But two, that car was also approved in the capital improvement plan, so we'd have to amend the CIP mm -hmm. for it to take that out. When, when are you considering the sixth deputy it'll start january it'll start at the first of the year i have to go through the training and all that but as soon as the budget is effective we'll start the process okay so um, you're you guys planning on voting? having all this stuff approved by the end of the year i'm sorry are you planning on having all of this approved by the end of the year oh yeah we need to approve okay. and operate if we okay. don't yeah the budget's not approved then we can't spend any money in january right. Um, so you guys will actually have a police contract that you approve like you do every year mm -hmm. and we'll probably run that congruently with the budget um, so we're planning on introducing the appropriation at the next meeting so I already got the uh, co uh, contract for police and we'll go ahead and introduce that um, the same time we do the budget we'll just vote on the police contract first and the budget <coughs> any questions over police any concerns they are doing a fantastic job. Um, the new the new batch we have is is doing a fantastic job. So we look for that to continue. 
All right, next one we've got general bond retirement. Take it away, Ms. Harris. Take it away. Okay. <laughs> general bond is our debt. Our income comes from uh, a portion of the real estate and homestead and uh, transfer in to support it from the general fund. And the payment is estimated at 44000 That That stays pretty much we, we put in what we need to, to make the payment each year. Twin Creeks, uh, same thing. We get a little bit of income from, um, this one is from the um, assessments, 14000 and we are not doing a transfer in from the general fund. We only have, I made a note, um, final payments in 2026, and what we've been doing is using the fund balance to bleed it off. And then maybe that last year we'd have to adjust it a little bit from the general fund. So my payments are 77000 254 income and then it's using balance and we'll still end up with 61. So I have another year at least, uh, maybe just a little bit, it should balance. And those are annual payments? Yes. And the funding that we've been using to pay that off for the past few years came from the That's sale right. of the Twin Creeks land for the land use program. All right, we're on water. All right, water revenues from the consumers, from the people that live here, and a little bit of miscellaneous. Uh, we will be transferring in 250000 from the general fund. We talked about that, and that is to help support the, that's our share of the uh, grant that how we got for the letter. That would be the engineering. Engineering portion. Now, is the transfer the one that gets paid back, or is that the gift? So, and that's my note. Um, if we want it to be an a transfer um, in it will not need to be repaid to the general fund if we do it as a um, a loan in advance then we have to set up how much the water fund is going to pay back the general fund so right now that's a discussion that's highlighted it's in as a transfer the water fund is not that healthy until with the excess until that debt payments off I don't know that it's going to have it to pay back so, so we need guidance from council regarding if you guys want that to be a gift or you want that 250 to be paid back. The water fund is not that healthy, but the general fund is. Right. Just yes. take it out of the general fund and give it to the water department. Yeah. And that, that gets paid, that, the water plant's paid off in 26? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I believe let me, I think I made a note, but I have other forms or another screen with the debt. Let me pull it up. Um, I think I got it. Yeah. Pull, my up Thank you. Passed it. I thought it was up some at the next yellow thing. Oh. That should be. Oh, no. That's okay. It's I, I know it's, it's around there. 26. It is going to be off in 2026, yes. Okay. Verified debt. And how much and is that? That payment annually is $217,250. Two more years. Yeah. And then the water department, I guess, start should be mm -hmm. kind of self-sufficient for a little while it's until they start to be, and it, it should rebuilding be things. I mean... Trying. How have have we compared all water rates to other municipalities our size? Yeah, they get they get compared annually through PICWA, um, through a study uh, with about I don't know. There's probably 40, 30 or forty other municipalities, and we are fourth highest in water. We are in the middle with sewer, so it puts us total combined water sewer to be um, like. The, the upper two thirds. With the new developments coming in and the tap in fees and stuff, which I assume goes to the water department, correct? It goes to the water department's capital fund instead of this right. operating fund. But then with the new housing coming in, that would be uh, money they would be paying for water, which would go into your fund too, correct? E Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. But that also requires more personnel to manage that. Right. You really want to, you want to start saving, uh, making money on your water, and you want to make it cheaper for your mm -hmm. residents, you take your water outside your city limits. You expand that sewer service to your outside your city limits. You charge them people a little bit more. Or you go to industry or your, your commercial a little bit more than your residential. So, Do, do we uh, sell water to Northampton, I think it is? Sewer. Sewer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have talked with, with the expanding. We've been in reduction. Mm -hmm. so, um, 
talking about with Donaldsville possibly expanding that, but we haven't heard back from them yet. And then who would pay for the piping to be laid, the city or them? They would. They would. Pardon me? They would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I have no problem as a gift since the water fund is yeah. not in the well, greatest. Yeah, because, I mean, it benefits the city and the residents right. mm -hmm. as much, if not more, than it does the actual water department. I agree. <clears throat> I mean, to ensure that you're getting lead out of the water system is... Mm -hmm. is that's huge. It is in general fund. It's a, it's a better off than what it was in years past. It truly and, is. And you also have a grant for lead replace the lead piping too, correct? Yeah, I got uh, two point three nine seven million, and then um, with the two hundred fifty thousand, and then obviously if something goes awry, our estimates to be right there at two point four. But yeah, I got that much grant. So in a year and a half from now, when we're completing things, if they come in and say, hey, you need a little bit more work. You know, we may have to, you know, jump in a little bit, but I've been pursuing right now to get more EPA grants just in case that happens. Okay. And, and I, I know you do an awesome job, along with the rest of the administration, of getting grants for, for water and sewer and, and streets, and I, I would say most of that falls on you. I'm, I'm not sure, but... It's the whole... Well, everybody. I know it's the whole team. I mean, it, it takes the entire administration to get this done. Yeah. You know, and... and uh, you guys do a good job at getting us grants to, to do what we need to do. That was a big one. Howie got a great job in securing that grant. To he did. Out. Yeah. And that, was he, that was his. Thank you for the team. So, so it's all how we did. How we did want the credit a minute ago, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a team. And that we, was a big we all work well together. I understand that. You got to give credit work. I mean, you guys all work together, and and mm -hmm. and I know some of these grants for that we get for streets and water and stuff that he's very much involved in it. Fire you know? does an excellent job getting grants too. Well, you know, it's just a fire department. <laughs> <laughs> they always, they always, yeah, they he, always he get the easy stuff. He saves the city a lot of money also. I, I have to admit, I wish he'd get a grant for that new engine we got coming. Yeah, that's, that's a okay. done deal. Keep it on done. I mean, yeah, that's a done deal. Damn. Unfortunately. I'll just have to work with him how much we want to give him. Okay, so you want to talk about that? I'll yeah. Just let you so wait. under wages, we want to bring some up. I'll, I'll talk about the license bonus. I you want to talk about the standby pay. So you see an additional there with license bonus with benefits, 22377 added wages. So um, we have been approached by the union to look at giving some of our select uh, employees who have certain level classifications uh, additional hourly rates. That seems to be a, a trend going on in all municipalities as a way to retain your workforce. Um, for example, we have Carrie May, who is a class three operator mm -hmm. at our wastewater plants. Um, so what that would look like is, you know, right now they have proposed, uh, basically, if I remember correctly, a dollar an hour uh, for each level of bonus. So a level three would get $3 an extra an hour. I'm gonna revisit that. Um, but what you see there is the max amount that would be given for the year. So again, if proposed would go through, Carrie May would get because she's a class three, three dollars an extra on the hour. Um, I'm going to go back and visit that. I would like for council just to approve as is and give me some discretion to work within that hourly bonus, so I can continue on looking at other area data, how other cities do it, whether that be a two dollar an hour extra or a dollar extra an hour. Um, we do have some data that was provided from us to us from the union, so I do, definitely want to double check that. Um, because one of the things we don't want to get at is we don't want to lose people. We don't want to lose people. Period. But we really don't want to lose our staff in our water and wastewater departments because those are the two that require certain classifications to run. And if you don't have those filled, then the EPA comes after you, and then we have issues with drinking water, wastewater. So those are the things we want to be competitive in. Um, so I think it would be a great thing to have. Um, so you'll notice in these water and wastewater, you'll have these uh, class bonuses. There's none for streets because streets don't require those type of uh, licensures to run. Um, and Howie will talk to you about the standby with benefits. Yeah. Any questions first on the license pay? Any concerns with that? Oh, I, th I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. I think it's so, great that you're going to look into it. I think it's because we do something similar at Wright Pat with, mm -hmm. with some of our employees. So, I mean, sure. if you think that there's a good scale out there that you can use to kind of base it, and if she says it, it'll work, then I'm all for it. So, it would it only be up two, three dollars an hour or less? It would be three dollars or less, depending on what level you have. The max it would be was three. So if you have a class one, you're not going to get three dollars. 
Right. Maybe some. some that would be well, like the superintendents or something. Well, it depends. Because they have better, they have more classifications. Well, not all superintendents have the same classifications. Our superintendent, our wastewater plant, it's a class three plant, so you need to have a class three license. Our water plant's a class one. So superintendent water only needs to have a class one. Okay. Would that also apply to, <coughs> to Howie? Because no. he has, don't you have these same licenses? He's not, he's not hourly. Yeah, I'm not hourly, but I do carry a class two to help cover the water plant. Okay. Our, yeah. But yeah, our, basically where this really pushes is it's your class one operator. We used to have threes, class three operators. Everybody at Wastewater was class three. Now a lot of people in, in the industry now are holding on to a one. Well, you cannot even be an acting person for 30 days. As a one, you need to be a two. So by saying, hey, if you're a one, we're willing to give you an extra bonus to get to the two, and then another bonus to get to a three, so then Carrie can go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Carrie can relax and have a second three there for backup, and we just don't have that currently. Right. And yes, I, I know you're not hourly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> how much, how much uh, like, just for curiosity, how much schooling or education goes into going from a two to a three? Uh, so you, usually you go through a six or eight month ODCO course, what they call advanced, either water or wastewater. You go through that, um, it's uh, that that long, and then you get, um, I can't remember if they still test it or not. So basically that's the education. Then you got to go to a state certified test. Oh, okay. This is where it's like, if anybody's familiar with the nursing test, you go sit in front of a computer and answer 110 questions. So many are math and so many are theory. It's not made to pass. It's, it's a hard test. Um, it's harder now because it's on computer. When I went, you sat in front of people with hand paper and a calculator. So um, it is a very tough uh, test um, to do. So there's not a whole lot of training for the test as compared to what you go through a college before you do one, but it's, it's quite a bit. Do we pay for all that training and certification or is that something they do on their own and then? We, we pay for the training and on average it's about $600 for the course. Okay. And then each exam runs about 125 to take. If they do not pass, we do not pay. But we reimburse once they pass it. Does that fall under tuition where they sign an agreement? Yeah, and then also tuition reimbursement. So you have to do the one or two years for at 600. And if you don't commit, then you pay that back. Okay. Thank you. No that was, yeah, that was the crucial next. part. Yeah, you knew where Yeah, we, we do. We, yeah. we do every uh, mm -hmm. that. <clears throat> okay. And we want to more than ever try to retain these employees because on top of this too, it is now costing us 5K to get someone a CDL because the state just changed everything, state or federal government. I think it's a federal program. Federal, federal program. Five what? So now five thousand dollars to get someone a CDL. Get a CDL. The before new e ELDT was, training, the was entry was level. How much did we pay? Oh, it was just the cost of getting a permit and a license. Yeah. So well, now that's that's that is even more plus for their, their wages and <laughs> being gone and, mm -hmm. and yeah. all that too. So yeah. it's probably more than five grand to get a yeah. CDL actually. So, I mean, there's a cost of bringing on new employees, and there's a bit cost saving to retaining those employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, we just want to explain the bonuses. So if you guys have any more questions, we'd be glad to entertain for them. Uh, how are you going to get to the standby? So, basically, the standby is uh, currently, um, if you're on overtime call out and you get a, um, a an alarm, you technically can, can deny. You could be out having a good time. You could be out with family, whatever, dinner. Since we're a small group, we're looking at doing a standby pay to where, it, let's say it's a week. I have you at your regular wage, all that, you know, paid from, you get 40 hours plus all the rest of your 24 hours during that payroll period where you're on standby for us, um, no drinking, you're, you, you are to respond to these calls. Um, so we would give them a standby pay uh, to make sure that they're here. You can't deny it. But then when you come in and you're here for three hours, you get paid for those, those three hours. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, this helps making sure people are in and we have your, your basically your attention for that whole week. And then they can schedule stuff. Because right now, you know, uh, you never know when an alarm's going to go off. But at least I know if Joey is on call this week, Joey's available with his phone, can't do anything, you know, unless something's prior approval comes up and we need to, you know, uh, switch but that's what the standby will be and it's all right now it's currently based on regular wages you know while you're at home during during the nighttime hours on an average just I mean I know it changes just out of curiosity after city hours closes you know after you guys are gone for the day on a seven-day span I mean how often does an alarm go off 
It's so sporadic. Is it? It, it averages probably, let's call it once every two weeks. Okay. On, on, on an average. Sometimes it could be two in one night, three in one night. Okay. Yeah. And this was something that was actually in our contract already. Um, and we had some issues with people denying it. We got together, and this was actually something that the union and I and, and Howie looked at. I'm trying to find the clause in here. If you want to give them specifics, on how much more per hour would they get? That's what I'm trying to get. On the standby time. Um, it, it's a percentage. So if I'm making 25 an hour, I'm not getting 25 hour from four to five, five to six. That's not like that. It's a, it's a, it's a percentage for. Ten percent. Ten percent. It's ten percent of your pay. Okay. Any issues with that, Council? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm good with that. Oh, okay. Got to have it covered. Okay. All right. We'll get past the wages. Um, start going through the regular training and transportation. We budgeted the same this year as, or next year's budget is. We have this year. Is it okay? Which one? Oh, yeah. Just go up a couple bit, little bit. There you go. Yeah, he's been working out. Oh, so it's, yeah, calling it. 2,500. You say 25? It needs to be 5. 5,000. Double that. This one here? Yep. Yeah, because Kyle's the only one that'll be getting it. Mm -hmm. So we just had an increase in the Are you hiring CDL testing? Are you hiring No. Just to keep it at 3? Mm -hmm. For 24. Because we have the extra he's got his employee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. School trip. Um, going down through the regular expenditures, electric, communication, professional, postage, everything's pretty good. I highlighted maintenance of infrastructure. That's where the 250000 that we're going to bring in from the general fund to pay. That's the, um, the fees and that where the two hundred fifty is going to go. So normally that would be about 85000 So we added it to there. Maintenance of equipment, um, our final year for the tower maintenance agreement, we have a half of the year payment due, and that is done. Is that for longevity? Yeah, so, so the 58000 now will be um, for, let's call it life. Uh, we keep the agreement going. We pay $58,000 a year. What are we in year six or seven now? No, it had to be at least Probably, seven. It was always because 150. Yeah, it, was, it used to be 115 up through year seven. Now it'll go to 58. And here in year 10, I believe it is, they'll come out and recode it. No additional cost. So they keep the painting up, they, that, all that, the washouts. Still looking good? Oh, the, the tower, this is the, uh, I'm as, about <laughs> as happy as I could be with a tower that looks like that. Because I know that that money is going into it for an annual washout or an annual inspection. Every 10 years it gets repainted on the outside, and so many years later it gets painted on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. It's another nice debt to uh, reduce. So that's your contractual amounts under the regular materials and supplies, pretty much the same as uh, the current budget. Capital of 104000 that is... Yeah, Old high small. service pump upgrade, yeah. OW, OPWC project. Yeah. And I believe that is continuing on our regular debt and miscellaneous. So the water fund is going to be estimated at 215000 um, And again, it will be a little bit more than that. And that's with some pretty high, the debt and the uh, projects. What changed by 3000 what did you change up there? We just went up to the CDL. Um, we had budgeted for two, and we have three employees now. Okay. All right. I was just wondering if it yeah. didn't matter. One, what we I was have one that needs to get a CDL. Okay. So if you can go back to fund balance, one of the things I want council to take a look at, and when we look at water weight increases, et cetera, et cetera, and you, clearly we know the loan's falling off. 
But look at that fund history, 2022 actually, we actually ate into our reserves to have a healthy fund balance. We don't want that trend to continue. Right now we're projected to go 12,000 in the hole, 12,005. I think by the time we close the year out, that will be in the black. And hopefully that follows suit. But this is one of the few funds that we have that we've actually ate into the reserves. Um, I'm not surprised it's water out of all of them just because it's so hard to gauge anymore nowadays with all these smart adaptions they have for water usage. Um, but it is a definitely area of concern. I'm curious to see how the tap increase that we have coming increases uh, maybe impacts that. Um, and then the new housing come in. But we at least wanted to verify and show you guys that this particular fund has in the past relatively recently aided into its fund reserve for, to have a positive balance. And real quick, what we worry about is unplanned emergency repairs. Mm -hmm. We had two of them here in 23 with that big elbow up by the ballpark. That and then we had uh, the pitless adapter right there for well four break on us. Those are usually don't happen for 50, 60 mm -hmm. years, and we had two two of them happen this last year. So, you know, one was a thirty thousand dollar repair, and the other one was you know somewhere right in that ballpark as well. So we we'll be looking. Yeah. We oh, have these sorry. funds that are like heavy with infrastructure. You just never know what's going to break in the year. Yeah. Water, wastewater, even your streets. Those are infrastructure. We'll be looking at a new well field in the near future. We're, we're currently in discussions with pre pre planning it. What kind of deal, Horton? Do you have an, just a ballpark of what something like that's going to cost? So each well is going to run you uh, about one hundred fifty thousand. Um, testing each well, we're going to do some um, uh, soil sampling up there, up past where Dr. Horton will have some green space in their back. Um, uh, it looks currently that they're willing to donate the land to us um, for two wells, if not three area four three and they'll be solely you know protected and then so each well about 150 uh, with about an eight to ten thousand dollar soil boring test prior and then that's that part so you'll, you'll have a hundred twenty thousand in a well got to just drill one sometime soon and then it'll be how much you know grant money and how much will we have to match to get the piping and electric down to the plant okay how about the water tower where are we at? The water tower will probably come in sometime through the, the middle phase of the DR Horton portion. Because our water tower here um, is going to, they're connecting through Arbor Homes. They'll be connecting that tower directly to the plant, where right now it's got to go around. So that will give us our feed a little faster. Um, but then once we uh, get close enough, you know, for aerial supply to meet the EPA, you guys have one day of in the air. Um, but we have 300,000 in the ground because we have generator backup as well. So at some time we will need a second tower down the road, um, but it's probably, I, I just hate to throw a number out there, it could be in that middle of DR Horton, yeah. five years-ish, yeah. Any other questions on water? We will move on to sewer, wastewater. I got one. When, oh. do, when, we, when did the last time we changed rates on water? Was that two years ago now? I think it was three or four, wasn't it? I, I, was it the first year I was here on? The, I think this is the second year we've been without one. Is it? Okay. So the tw I think in year 23 or 24 will be in the third year. I okay. think. Don't quote me on that. I won't be on council, but those who are highly recommend you look at rate changes. Could use a shot. We'll look at bumping your 500 a month. <laughs> okay, wastewater. Revenue on the wastewater and um, is pretty good from the rates that were, were put in place and they're still um, active. The expenditures, same thing. We had the, benef the bonus and benefits um, that we just talked about in their wages. Does this CDL need change too? How we sense the water did? Uh, which one we in wastewater? Yeah. Right now everybody's got their CDL, so, so you the, yeah. So you'll need it. it five just in case the new person we hire. Put it at five needs it, too. Yeah. Does the last person need so it? So that's going to be. That's both. a possibility. Yep. Okay. Everything under contractual is real close to the same mm -hmm. budget. We we usually have a good history of um, budgeting it. Same with materials and supplies, from current to this year. Capital, to go back there, the capital has a uh, new vehicle, various pump replacements, roadway resurface, and equipment storage. That's what's in the capital this year, 215000 And then we go into our debt payments. Mm -hmm. They're pretty consistent. 
and our ending balance is actually in the positive. We have more revenue than expense, yay. A lot of our funds turned out this way this year too, so we're, we just, you know, don't have that exact fund balance carry over to add to it, but. Mr. Uh, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bridge, or Ms. Harris. Just out of, what would be, I mean, obviously you could say we would love to have $30 million in our water fund, but I mean, what would be for a city our size, what, what do you think would be a nice, safe number, a couple million? To carry over? Yeah. For your water and wastewater? A couple years operating? Mm hmm Okay. At yeah, minimum one. Mm hmm Okay. And we're in our, 2024 will be the last year of the wastewater rate increase. So there's one that's just mm -hmm. starting this month. Right. Okay. And that's some of the things me and Ms. Harris, we talked about, we told you guys, will probably happen for the next council. We want to set thresholds as to some of these fund balances needs to have a minimum before we do any other projects. With mm -hmm. it. You know, like for example, wastewater, we need to carry over uh, 1.5 million. And then that's the minimum that carries over. And we establish those um, for each particular fund, street, et cetera, general. Um, just certain mm -hmm. guidelines have some basis that you don't go below. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any questions on wastewater? We'll go to the swimming pool. Kept the revenue pretty close to this year's. Um, we had a general fund transfer last year. I put none in this year. And I'll show you at the at the bottom why it doesn't. And it and it goes every now and you know like almost every year, but we don't we won't be needing it this year. Wages, seventy-four thousand. Training and travel is the same. Contractuals, just a little less than current. Pretty much the same on materials and supplies. We have no capital projects in there, so um, we had carried over and talked about keeping that forty thousand two years in a row for an eighty thousand dollar liner. So that is your fund balance there. That is that eighty, and that's why I didn't put a transfer in the general fund so we're just using up some fund balance it always supports it but there's no reason to put it in when it doesn't need it this year so that's ending in 36,000 so I think we have a, a good wiggle room there I, we, uh, okay. we have some uh, discussion and decisions to make on the pool if we're going to to do various things over there if we're going to spend i forget to figure off the top of my head for the uh to do all the work and then put the liner in whoa 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 you guys already voted not to do the liner you guys have to yeah. go back right. and redo the nature work grant so right. you know that's been approved to go back to the original gazebos okay so you guys will have actually it's probably a resolution uh, authorizing me to switch back or sign this i don't know how jake's gonna have me do it um, so that goes back to the original cost, which was 40? Uh, 60. 60. 60. Yeah. 60. 65 would be the pay. We got 40 reimbursed. Yes. Right? So we 25 would be the difference on that. So we got a budget for that. Okay. If we're doing 24. Is that, your, is that the funding year for 24 or the 25? We, we have to have it finished by the end of 24. End of 24. So mm -hmm. we need a budget for it from this year then. So that would be a capital because it's new, right? <coughs> yes. Each gazebo is yeah, like 4,000. Four, oh, oh, each gazebo is four? Yeah, it's like four or something. It's the concrete that's the expensive part of it. Go, so we're not going to yeah. capitalize it. No. So we're going to budget for it. What line do you think? Infrastructure. Can you go up to infrastructure? It's really not maintenance, though. So where do we, we have, have where did we have it coming in? In 23? Yeah, where was that in 23 calling the nature work grant? We, we oh, you know, I've been, might have been lands. I don't know where she had it. Do we take it out of lands and buildings? I'm, I was just accidentally speaking. I, I don't, I can't remember where she. It, it'd be your 23, Miss Harris. Do you want me to look at the 23? <clears throat> it had to come out of pool. So it been a, she transferred money from the general fund to the pool. Yeah, because for the so we have yeah, line yeah. twenty three, so we've got to pick a, a line item to go with. So we don't have it in the capital. So we didn't capitalize it. Looks like maybe we didn't. We did not capitalize it. Nothing. You're about to the book of my own. That will be right there. Oh, I'm sorry. 
<clears throat> see it sticking up there in the pool. I wonder if it's in general. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it might be. In. So you land, see if it's Lance's building. <laughs> I don't think we actually booked it because we didn't get it yet and we were going to add it to the budget as an estimated resource when we got the money and then do the preparation. Well, I don't know. Pool had some others. And that's why it wasn't in. Okay. So let's go back 24. And you said we have fund balance that we, we saved, right? 40? Is that we've been saving for this In the pool? Yeah. Yeah, well, it'll end at 36. So and that's with what? With my son everything in the, the normal budget. But we haven't accounted for the gazebos we're going to do. No, no, they're not in there. But haven't we been saving money for a line for a couple of years now? Yes, that's the 80000 right here. In the pool balance. Okay. Yeah. And that's why I didn't need a general fund. So Okay. the gazebos is going to be a grant. Correct. Yeah, so you gotta so we'll be it. adding that revenue. At the same time, we'll be doing a supplemental to expend it. And that's <laughs> so why it wasn't. Okay. So we're going to expend 25k out of this. So the ending fund balance is going to be. You're going to spend 25 for the gazebos, but how much is the grant? The grant 60. We're going to reimburse 45. Okay, so we'll have 45 then coming in when we get it to adjust the budget. Correct. I think you need to show council what the pool's going to look like. So I think that we need to do some numbers. Okay. So Give me the numbers and I will pull it. Well, we know that we're, you know, it's 60, then we're going to get reimbursed 40, right? Allie? I'm just double checking this, the, the, from the grant. It's going to leave the pool at like 11, right? I think a little bit more than that. So at least got to show where we're going to. So here's our note from last there's year. A, okay, that's the receipt. Maybe 45,000. So. If we're if we're going to get it, let's put it in, and then you want it under what the gazebos is going to be twenty five. What? Twenty or twenty five? Just put twenty five in. Oh, I under. Know. Let's see. Uh, maintenance and facilities. Uh, you it right or capital. Uh, I dropped it right on the. I board. think they're new. I think they're capitalized. Yeah. I mean, they're not. We're not. We're not maintaining anything. We're actually building new. Okay, let's put it in. Gazebo. Can you spell gazebo for me? Oh, G A Z. G A Z. E B O. Yeah. Maybe two O's in there. Gazebo from Grant, right? Mm hmm. And we say. So the Grant's going to be 65 and 45 reimbursed. So actually be a 15 day difference. So I don't know how you need to put that in there. So we're going to spend 60 for the Grant. Mm hmm. Okay. So that's in. So that's here. And we have the revenue coming in from the at 45. Okay. So we just took it down to 21. And that includes those. And I'll make a note to make sure I have that added in, tied in. Okay. So, so that's, that's what that looks like for your pool. Is council okay with that? What was the, um, I don't know if it's on this sheet, what was the, the for this year, the pool's total? Oh, well, it's right there. Total pool. That's what the pool brought in, 144.5? That's what it's This is. Oh, sorry. This one no, here, that's the expense. I'm sorry. Of this, this is the budget. I I can get you a an actual expense real quick because you're just about there. I mean, we're not bringing it in. I was just curious to see what, what it would look like. So, well, it looks like your revenue was, what, 118.5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let me show you on your fund balance. This will be on your report for next council. Oh, look at that warm weather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's here. Yeah, that's probably cool. I can so get the, this to show. So if the project was only 50. It was 60. Yeah. yeah. It did budget for 60, but if it was 50. Yeah. It okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. You can follow me here. <laughs> yeah, it's not that expensive. Oh, dude. You brought in 100. 
You brought in 116000 and spent 111 You have an ending balance of 66 Wow. And that's as of the report for October. Nice. That's your fund for swimming pool. Started at 109 we're ending at 66 Okay. So Thank we you. go back to, you're welcome. How much of that is transfer? I'm not trying to take away from it. No, no, I, no, I know there was 20. I, I want to know that. There was it's 20, it's right? Either 20 or 40. I think it was 20. Yeah. I could be wrong. We have... 20,000 hmm. general fund this year. So 40 something. It's fantastic. So these numbers will, will uh, tweak a little bit. Something that you don't want, you don't care about. Okay. Don't want to lose. Right. Just break even. Yeah. Maybe something that Carter Aquatic Center can't do. <laughs> and you're a third of the price to get in. Right. Thank you, Colleen. You're welcome. Any other poll questions? We are up to cemetery. Sorry. Sale of cemetery lots and grave uh, sites are uh, is a revenue. It's kind of, it changes. It, you don't know how many people are going to need the service and pay. So um, anyway, I, I'm estimating that we'll be getting about 67000 this year as revenue. Expenses are... Um, Greg Slattery, he's the only one in under wages, and then the normal training and travel, contractual, and I don't think we actually, contractual is a lot less, we didn't have any um, big items to put in this year. Trying to build the fund balance, we have a small capital, and uh, Did we that's ending that? at 10000 did we, um, Mr. Bridge, did we start the contracting for people to help trim out there? Did we ever do, didn't we do that? I'm confused. What's that? For maintenance of the grass out at the cemetery. Didn't you at one time talk about having a crew come in and it wasn't the city workers to help with that? I thought we talked about that. Oh, contracting it out years ago? Yeah. I mean, but I don't think we ended up doing it because we hired okay. a, a part-time seasonal dedicated. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember how we went. Mm -hmm. Anytime we got a contract out for that and you need a job, you have to go through that first. Okay. Um, back to the cemetery, though, we are going to look at our cemetery rates. Every year we kind of look at them, and I, I think our cemetery rates are low. Um, so we're going to be more competitive, not only with other public cemeteries, but also our competition, which is the private cemeteries that are right outside our border. So we need to be more competitive. So I think we've been doing ourselves a disservice by having these super low rates because we are a public entity um, when our cemetery can actually handle a little bit more expensive stuff. So we're so any all that will be uh, uh, submitted to council for approval because it is codified. We are looking at increasing those rates. So the fund balance may go up. That would be next year, correct? We're going to look at it soon. We have, to, we have to look at it every year by code. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of watch it if it needs a general fund transfer, and, and that happens every few years too. If it starts getting too low, mm -hmm. we, we have to add a little bit. I did not put any in this year. Let me see if I did last year too. Uh, and not to jump ahead, uh, this yes, is a we little did bit last year 10,000. It's a little bit lower as well because so much of our grave sales go to perpetual care. I don't remember the percentage, I think maybe 10 yeah. or 15. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not huge. It's low. Oh, they get lower, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit. A little bit. We also have all of Greg's salary in here this year. Um, and last year, I think we only did a portion, portion of him, so the other accounts had to eat up more of his salary. So we tried to put him back where he belongs, because that's his main responsibility. Okay, that is cemetery, and we are wrapping up here. Waterworks Capital, um, that's where some of the consumer charges that we get for the water tapping goes into this, and this is to save for capital improvements. We have no expenditures in it, and we're growing that fund balance. Went from 60 to 70 and estimating at 80. This is the fund specifically that each house ties in and they pay that tap fee. This is where the fund it goes, the initial tap fee. Right. Mm -hmm. So then when there's a capital item that needs to be, it doesn't have to be out of the operating, it will start using it out of the capital accounts so with the new uh both the two new uh housing developments this fund should grow fairly quickly over the next <coughs> year. if you don't expend out of it yeah yeah mm -hmm. 
So that's gross. Is that every house has to pay the tapping fee, correct? Yeah. 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 That's a 1400 What was the new tapping fee? 14 uh, That's all right. Don't worry about it. And 1400 yeah, it was eleven something, but yeah, so eleven hundred times six hundred, five hundred, fifty, three hundred and some plus two sixty seven, whatever it be. Let's we'll see if I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do six hundred. I think it's a little over three hundred for each development. Yeah. The old house, eight hundred thousand dollars. Wastewater capital. Um, this is an inactive fund. Let me bypass that. There's a little fund balance in there, and we'll use it up. But we're not putting any money in that one. Um, Can that money be transferred out to something else? Or no? Yeah, yeah. It'll go back to, another, there's another wastewater capital mm -hmm. fund. They had multiple. So we stopped this one and we'll get that transferred over. I'll show you, it, it's coming up. It's just out of sequence here. And where are we at? Cemetery perpetual care. Um, the portion of the cemetery lots goes into this um, account along with interest. It gets some of our interest from our bank accounts and that's by our regulations from the auditor. And then they usually have the flowers every year for Memorial Day and Veterans Day out of that. And that fund's also trying to keep it growing. So we'll always have that money. Street lighting, assessments is the revenue. It's pretty Set. We haven't had an increase in years on the portion that we charge for the street lighting. The expenditures have been going up a little bit, um, but that balance, this is an account, we, it's kind of a wash. We only assess a certain amount to pay for the street light and the auditor's fee. So we're not building the account, we're just trying to maintain it. That may need to be increased if they uh, increase our lighting charges. Then we'll have to look at how much we assess for that. And that's how that's is funded through street light assessments we do every August. But right now, I think it's, it's steady. It's, it's steady. Mm -hmm. And they just charge us a flat fee. It's per linear feet of what you have on frontage. Mm -hmm. They charge us for the usage. Yep. It changes. And then we charge for the lineal to the residents. Government Center, um, ever since Mr. Cook suggested that a few years ago, we put 25000 in there uh, from the general fund. And at the end of this year, we have $100,000 towards a new city building. Thank you. <laughs> it's almost paid off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing's been used. It's just an account that's building. Water meter upgrade is another inactive account. We'll, we'll take these off the screen. Here's the wastewater equipment replacement, and the tap-in fees are going in there from the wastewater portion. And that capital, there's nothing in it this year to spend. And again, we're trying to build that up as another capital, the right capital counts. And that's contingency. There was quite a few little inactives. Mm -hmm. We got to, they just have little fund balances that we'll get them all cleaned up and moved over. And that is it. So, um, estimated revenue from all of the accounts is estimated at seven million four hundred thirty-six, up from this year's budget at seven million sixty-seven. Expenditures are actually down, eight point three from nine point one. Um, and then the ending balance is a little lower, um, just because we came in this year with a higher balance. But this number that carries over will be adjusted when we close the books on December thirty-first, and that will be a higher number making the ending less or more, more. I'm sorry <laughs> not less we don't want more <clears throat> that's our budget workshop Good job. Yay. thank you we start thank this you. in June and my eyes are like bugging because the numbers are all like starting Do you dream work. about like calculators and oh, numbers and I can't sleep because she sometimes it's in the next day but like hey we're changing this that's what she dreads yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to do <laughs> stuff twice Guess what I do that <laughs> don't you remember the yeah, don't you remember we talked about this number I'm like, how many change. numbers <laughs> no. what was the um, if you don't mind real quick what was the uh, projected general fund for 24 sure let's go back up there just as a When we, um, yeah, just to under a million. Okay. And it will be over. Cool. You spoke last time about 685 it being not nearly as 685. Do you have you don't have your notes on that? From For what? Time. The general fund. I think last time you started off and you said that 685. You had some more accurate numbers of what that was going to end up. Do you have that with you? 
Mm -hmm. notes. Okay. Um, did I need to? I thought you said to bring it back up in, in this meeting about the uh, bonus for the employees. I mean, it does have to do with the budget. So um, I guess you can talk about it. So basically, if you want to open that up, you the budget, the 2024 appropriations, is that for the full dollar for the union people or is it still for the union? It's for the full dollar. It's for the full dollar. No, I'm talking about for like the, for the, well, the I was bonus. just calling the bonus for the crew. Oh, that, that we can talk about. Yeah, I think that you would need to do that now. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because um, we got to figure out where, I mean, it's just budget work session. So. Yeah, it's money. It's money. So they would like to give X amount of dollars to full. We haven't decided how you guys are going to do that, though, as far as how much do you want to give full-time employees and then how you want to handle the fire department. You're getting tangled up in the cord. There you go. I got it. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> so we work backwards. We have about 14 or 15 full-time that would be qualified for the bonus, and that's just based off the proclamations that we're going to give out. Um, so they would qualify for that and, and whatever you want to do for your fire department. Um, so originally we said just give a dollar amount for the fire department and let fire chief discretion. I don't know if we were, you guys are still okay yeah. with that. That's really your department now. So I think that would be the better way to handle the fire department. Yeah. <coughs> I also think there needs to be some chief guidelines. Chief knows who's it's running, who's well doing what. And and I also think there needs to be guidelines because I don't think someone should get a bonus if they've been on our schedule for four months and worked one shift. So I'll be working with Chief to establish that guidelines mm -hmm. as far as that, if you guys don't mind, because I do have issues with that. Yeah. Um, but I'm all for letting him manage the most of it, for sure. Um, but I think there needs to be some guidelines, especially with the fire department, who gets them and who doesn't. I just don't want to leave the fire department out, especially the ones that have been here a long time and, and work long hours. And well, that's one thing, because then they'll capture in that thing. Right, like, right. When they did the BWC, that was, you know, they did an hourly cutoff. So here's what we need to dis discuss about this bonus. First off, we're probably going to require you guys to pass some legislation for us to do that. And that's going to show the auditor that you guys appropriated it. It's in there. Uh, this the, <coughs> the last round of refunds we did was a BWC refund. So it really wasn't public taxpayer dollars. This one is going to be public taxpayer dollars. Mm -hmm. So when we do that kind of stuff, it's no different than when Mr. Reynolds wanted to give a $5,000 donation to the food bank. We had to go back and do legislation so that we can show the auditor this was approved by the governing board. So what we can do is we have legislation for you at the next meeting. We just need to know guidelines of what you guys think is appropriate for the holiday bonuses. Um, because you want to have this done before the party, correct? Yeah, I mean, I just would like them to have it in their pocket so that if they need, you know, if someone's struggling and mm -hmm. needs, sure, you know, whatever. I don't have a problem with that. My recommendation on that is on the 20th, we do an emergency ordinance. The emergency ordinance requires <coughs> you to vote yes, so I'd advise that. Because if we do that, that way it's effective immediately. Right. And I give Ms. Harris enough time to cut the check. So our Christmas party is what? Is it later in the year this year or earlier? It's um, this is later. It's late. It's, it's later. We, but yeah. we have to. Yeah. So you would prefer to have it sooner than later, the approval, to get it working. You don't yes. want to have to go into December and wait. Because if we do the first read in November 20th, the second read is December 5th, then it's 15 days to become effective after that. Unless it's an emergency. Unless it's an emergency. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. But. I, I guess we need to figure out what are we wanting to give the fire department the or the uh, you said the fourteen. Well, it's well, I think that you should work it backwards. People. I think you should I, find out what total dollar amount the you're going right. to and, and figure out what you're going to give your full time people, and then what's left over is going to be for your fire department. We how many outside of the fire department? How many part about fourteen, fourteen we, or fifteen? 15. Part time? No, part time. Full time. Full time. No, part I mean time. outside the fire department. How many is part time? I think we have oh, outside of the fire department. Yeah. We have two, oh. but one. Well, one. I don't one your question. Like outside the fire department. Yeah, part -time like in Howie's got department Scott in the Schrader. office. Who's well, part? then you got Strat. You got you yeah. got pool. You got seasonal people. I mean, total, we got probably just under. Yeah, but employees. pools, they're all gone. They're I mean, seasonal. I count them. They're seasonal, and in, you can't sit there and say. I would count I'm, anyone who's been on payroll since October first. Well, you got some people who work 20 hours a week, and you can't give them the same bonus that you get. Well, I'm just people. saying, yeah. when, you, when you want to look at seasonal, you know. It would be hard to go back on seasonal. It would. Some of those would I would go to seasonal. I would, I would go. Closed yeah. and so that's really just going to include here. Scott Strayer, okay. which is fine. Scott works 30 plus hours a week for us, right? Because Burl's now permanent. Yeah, you Scott's 24 um, yeah. hours a week. 24, I thought he's 32. 
No, he, okay. he yeah, he's they're both they're both uh, like long season. I don't have a problem giving Scott something because he's been a dedicated employee. Oh yeah, yeah. Long, yeah. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Scott's, <laughs> and we included him in the BWC bonus. Mm -hmm. We did. So, like you said, I guess the question is, we got it. We should establish a number and work backwards from that. What what are we willing to? And this would be appropriate out of twenty twenty three funds out of the tax yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. And then Sorry, I'm assuming this will be pulled out of the journal. Go for it. Go for it. Yes, sir. Uh, that that, that brings up, a, just for me, I, I really like the idea. I like the idea of being generous. Um, I like the idea, especially around the holidays, um, being generous. But I personally have a hard time taking taxpayer dollars and, and doing it with that. Um, it's very easy to be generous with other people's money. Um, the one thing I would be open to, and I'd be glad to make a motion if you want me to, is that we just donate our pay for December. Council, we donate our pay to the employees for the bonus and use that money for that. If you guys want to do that, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, but I, there actually may be some clauses about that that you cannot or? do, and I'll have to revisit it. And I say that because I, when we had our former law director, I was going to get an X amount of money for a raise, and I wanted to give actually Howie some of that money because Howie was not getting enough, and I was not allowed to give some of my raise to another employee. Right. There's something in our codes that say I get that. I can look at it again can you, if you can want. Can you check that, I please? Absolutely. I mean, I, mean, I would be open to that. I mean, that's going to be yeah. what twenty eight, twenty nine hundred dollars well, to the divide between yes. the employees or whatever it is. I don't know what the dollar figure exactly. For oh, I think Mike gets a little more five, 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 six, seven times four twenty eight plus another two for Mike, so two thousand eight hundred, maybe three k. Yeah, which you'd divide that by fifteen plus people. Yeah. Couple hundred bucks or 150 bucks a piece or whatever. Let me, ask this. A piece. Let me, let me ask counsel this because I don't, and I, I don't, I say this not knowing, I just say it from what I observe. I don't think we have anyone who's fiscally struggling. And maybe look at maybe other ways to give them a, bo a bonus, maybe a free day off, maybe, I, I don't know. If councils have been, council as a whole has an issue with the bonuses, can we look at other ways? So what's your, what's, what's your current city schedule for? The holidays. Let me get that date. If you give the free day off, then the union will be involved no. in that. Mm -hmm. no. Well, they're the one. They will, they're going to. They're going to they, get the free day off. But they they will want that in the contract then. No, they won't. I, I, I work very well with our union. Mm -hmm. They won't. They'll just take the day off and be like, "Great, thanks." So I mean, you guys are gonna be closed what Christmas Day? We're going yeah. to be closed on 25th. Friday the twenty second. And. Monday the 25th and the Christmas party is the employee luncheon is scheduled on Thursday the 21st. I mean speaking for myself uh, yeah, I'd take money over a day off yeah. this time of year I mean I know Randy you said you don't think anyone's struggling uh, usually the people you don't think are struggling are the ones that are struggling. I just have an issue giving taxpayer money away like that I think that I one I think that I wouldn't. I, it's as not, long as you guys pass legislation, a, I don't. We're I guess not I don't giving it away. It. We're we're awarding hard work, hard workers who work for the city who put in. I'm not. I'm not arguing against you. I understand. I'm just looking at it from a different lens than you guys. I'm looking at it from an auditor standpoint. I'm looking at what it looks like from a from a government. Uh, I, it's just unheard of for governments to give out bonuses to public employees. They usually do it in forms of parties or whatever the case may be. We did it last time because of the BWC bonus. As long as you guys pass legislation and Colleen's covered on her audit, and I have a and then comment. I'm okay with it. But Colleen, they haven't commented. So, so, so my old. What days do they get off for Christmas this year? Friday I get and Friday and Monday. Friday and Monday. Mm -hmm. Kick in another day and give them another day Mike. off and, and be done with it. Call it a day. Call it their Christmas present. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cook had a comment, and I do yeah. too when it's my turn. But. Good. He was. Go ahead and we'll go to Ms. Harris. Let me cloud this up a little bit. <laughs> if you were to take each of the employees and you were to attach a letter, for example, A would be the highest, 
B would be the second highest, C on down. Come up with a number that we need. Then I will go along with Mr. Bond. If council would, I guess the word is take their paycheck for the month of December. Council, not the city, council would then distribute that money out among those letters for the employees. This would not be a city bonus. This would be a council bonus. You mean taking your own paycheck and cashing it and donating it back? We would we would take our paycheck. If, for example, I'm direct deposit. Okay, I write a check to a fund. All of all seven of our paychecks for that point go into that fund. I think my paycheck's 362 after taxes and all that. So I send you a check for 362. The other six do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we would have to receive. Yeah. Are you guys off on the 29th? No. So if we so if we go, let me ask you this. And I so we're in the 22nd. We're off. We're off the 25th because it's well Christmas Day. So we're come. We're off the 26th. No, we're coming back to 26. Come back 26. So 26, 27, 28, 29. I'd give you the, I would say give the, either the 29th or the 2nd. I mean, I know the 2nd's into 2024. If, if that's what you're, if you want to look at giving your employee, your, your employees an, an extra day off, you give them the 29th, so that way they have a, a longer weekend, or give them the 2nd, that way, you know, they, Is or, it, or you can rotate. You can say, okay, hey, you guys, we're going to give everyone a day off, so rotate half on the 29th do you guys want to try the legislation and see how that goes is it is it allowed are you allowed to do it i'm telling you right now if you pass the legislation then you guys you will be fine because it's the same thing that we did for the uh, the Food I, I get we we've been through this before with the donation it's the same thing right as long as you guys legislate it then you're good but you can say say absolutely okay so when we talked about this before mm -hmm. because i'm i'm like Mr. Baird, it, it, it is hard with taxpayer money, and, and the appreciation is wonderful. I'm just old school, and we never had it. But what we did a couple years ago on the board is we put in your appropriations the employee Christmas party money. So because a lot of entities never even had that money, you know, we always self-brought our own things in. So since it's in the budget, it's an allowable expense. We only used, as you can see, 2,200 last year, or 2022, out of our 4,000. We have a caterer that did last year. She did an excellent job. So I think we're going to be at under 1,000 easy. So we're going we're gonna to have money in that allocation, if there's any of that, that Mr. Bridge and yourselves would consider divvying up. When you do give employees bonuses, it is payroll. It's a fringe benefit, and they have to pay tax on it, too. Mm -hmm. If you decide to get maybe gift cards or gifts for your appreciation out of that, mm -hmm. that is a tax-free way of acknowledging. Just, just another insight from... So you're saying you like gift cards? I have they, an issue with cities buying gift cards on credit cards. Okay. That is not good fiscal <laughs> prop that. Well, my original thought is, is and, I, and I understand what Mr. Bond's saying, is, yeah, it's tax dollars, <coughs> but it's also, I mean. What if we were to go and buy? Well, if you guys just do a supplemental that a little bit more. Like, <coughs> as long as it's loaded, like, if, supplement, if it's budgeted, we're fine. It's not illegal to do it. It just looks bad when you use taxpayer. We're not saying it's illegal. And I, you know, here's the thing, my, my two cents is, is, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, we've got employees who, I mean, you've seen pictures of people put, you know, the water guys on, on Facebook when they're out in those holes and they've got ice coming off of them when their the water line breaks. I mean, you know, um, I just, I don't see the, the, the harm. I mean, someone can complain, well, why'd you get my tax dollar? Well, they worked their buns off for you, the city. That's why. I mean, I, I have no problem saying that to anybody who pays taxes. I pay their taxes, so. Um, I just think they shouldn't be hamstrung just because they work for a public entity. Right. I mean, I mean, everyone else who works in the private sector, it's I get a bonus. bonus. Yeah. I get quarterly bonuses. I, I get mean, a Christmas bonus. I get a yearly bonus. If we were given 
thousand dollars or something outrageous, but if it's in the range mm -hmm. of two hundred dollars or whatever, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just mean, I uh, cannot. And, and, the, and, the, and the, I mean, like earmark five thousand for it. You know that would you know you know give you a little bit of flexibility whether it's like if we have fifteen employees, that's three grand for the full time, and then there's two grand for Chief to divvy up between his his crew if he needs two grand. I mean, I don't truly know how many. I wish he was here. People, <coughs> Chief would say he would like to bonus out. You know, your thoughts, sir? I'd say appropriate the money and allow the uh, managers to do the logistics of. So we want to do a supplemental to add more to the line item that is existing. Yeah, for next year, I think that way you're covered. Well, we gotta do it for this year. Okay. If you guys want bonuses for yeah for the Christmas party? Yeah, but I think going forward, I think for next year. In this current budget for next year, also is mm -hmm. what you're saying. Okay, so we're in. This is the 2024. So do you want to up that four thousand? An additional five. Yeah. And that'll be for Christmas yeah. next year. So basically four for the. Four for the party. Mm -hmm. And then five, if. Next year's council decides that they want a bonus. Can we out. change the holiday to employee appreciation I have events? Employee appreciation. <laughs> or something. Employee, yeah, that's there it. There you go. There you go, employee okay. appreciation. And what was this number total? Nine. 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 So if we want to do it for this year, we can do a supplemental. Well, you didn't 20th. spend all of the five. Well, we already spent she didn't spend thousand dollars last year. Uh, well, we got right? well, yeah. you keep we didn't spend any of this. The full, the full four thousand dollars back in there. No, this is for next that, year. That should, that should be cut, even for next year, should be cut from the 4000 to 3000 That way you're only carrying over 1000 Hmm. You confused me. You, so You've got $2,281. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, this you is you our, said that they only spent $2,000 last year on the, on the party. Mm -hmm. Appreciation holiday, whatever it was, mm -hmm. for Christmas. Yes. Out of the four thousand dollars, so we have the balance of that left, correct? N this is a separate year. For this year, we only spent about a thousand. But we haven't we had, had the party yet. We haven't had right. the party okay. yet. So, so we'll done. have about three of this year. But we had we four thousand dollars budgeted for it. We spent a thousand. We got three thousand dollars surplus. But we don't year. have a three thousand dollars surplus. We're not done with the party yet. All we've paid for, we haven't gotten. I understand the, that. Okay, so it's not a three thousand surplus I'm, yet. These figures. If I can talk, would be nice. Well, I'm just letting you know. You said you have a three thousand surplus. I'm that. That's. I know the thousand dollars is not set in stone. It could be fifteen hundred, but there's going to be a surplus. You're not going to spend four thousand dollars on this party, correct? Yes, but we it's, we're going to spend more than a thousand. Right. I'm getting that. Okay. Let's say you spend two thousand. That mm -hmm. still leaves two thousand dollars you didn't spend. So next year, what? You're shaking your head no, what? I'm agreeing with you. Well, then shake it the other way. <laughs> I'll you shake do it, it like this. this way. I'll do it this way. Uh, so I'm, I'm, so if, you, if you are putting um, that $4,000 plus five back in for next year, and, it, and you only spent $2,000, why are we putting another $4,000 in if we're not spending it? Is it in, just because? We're not done buying the part, stuff paying for the party yet. So we don't know if it's going to be two or a thousand left over. So again, with your logic, have we thing we can throw it in there if we don't use it, it rolls over. Okay. So right now we have a thousand that we pay for. We haven't got we haven't got prizes for them. We haven't done a, a bunch of a little, a little other stuff. So there's going to be more charges with that thousand we're at. This will be for this year's Christmas bonus. It can come out of this figure and this figure that's okay. already budgeted. Now they did not use any out of Move the. On, then. These figures are a maximum amount. We don't have. I to understand spend that. Chief, glad Sir. you made it back. Hope everyone was okay. We called a trauma alert on the child. That's not good. So, um, mm -hmm. we as council are thinking about giving bonuses mm -hmm. and. We obviously would love your input as to what uh, what your crew and how many. Uh, we're looking at for probably for us 26 people. Um, how many of those people actually, what's the average hours of your people? Because my, my thing is if someone's on the ship, they're four hours a, a week? No. Our <coughs> our part-time people are required 12 hours a day. 12 hours of pay? A pay. Most of them put in more than that. 
So that's how did we cut it off when we did the BWC bonuses? That they didn't work at all. <clears throat> mm, I don't think it was that. I think it was a little bit more restrictive. Uh, we had. Um, so we had like how much? We had like how much? Because we had the ones that we our fire onlys. They work pay for call, but they they show up fire calls of course. But they also show up in full arrests, ODs, lift assists, that type of thing. Hmm. How about a dollar amount for each hour you work? Excuse me? A dollar amount for each hour you work for a year? Ooh, that, that, <laughs> that's a lot. No. How many hours you put in this year? Who, me? He, he didn't say a dollar an hour. Oh, a dollar, dollar amount. amount. Oh, a dollar. I thought he said dollar an hour. If you work X like, or below, you got this. If you work, yeah. But that's a, now you're asking Colleen to do a ton of, <laughs> ton of labor here to figure out a bonus where. Mm. Uh, Chief, if you had an X number of dollars, could you manage? Paying your people a bonus and make it fair. Not, I mean, because you got some people it works more than others. Yeah, and that and that's only because of what some people have more availability to either right. than what other people do. Right. You know. And they okay, and they don't have availability for us because they give their availability to other stations, correct? They're full, they have, some full have full time jobs. Gotcha. So you said what twenty six? Yes, sir. They're they're more than twelve hours of pay period. No, 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 that's 26 total. Okay. Can I see that Excel sheet? Is that, is that right? Yeah, and then some of these, uh, these on there, like I said, I haven't seen this. Some of those on there I know have worked enough that I can take off. Did you know this was coming today? You guys discussed this a little bit in the last, oh, yeah. at the last meeting. Good, that's great. Come data driven. We appreciate that. <laughs> And the chief looks surprised. Good Marines always prepare. <laughs> What's a Marine always a Marine? So are Boy Scouts. Keep your crayons. Hey, the green ones are good. Okay. <laughs> I got a stuffed crayon for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what about fire? No, this doesn't have their hours at work. This is no, no, that does not have that. That's just a, that's a roster boss. Yeah, that's not that, that's not hours work. That's a roster. I'm just curious if that is thing, buddy. Well, I can I can look and tell you which one, names on there would and would not. Where would we put all this money in a pot? Just believe me, I look at our ship and roster and hours every day. Then it's no brainer. <laughs> With a number, that's how many we get. That's the reason our roster is, when I first took over in 15, we had a roster of almost 55, 60 people. And that's the reason, one of the reasons why it's down so much is if you don't work, I don't keep you. Fire bonuses. Because a lot of people say, well, you, it doesn't cost you anything to keep me on. Well, yeah, it does. I would try to split it. About the hours on the I can do it all in. Oh. All in These way. two numbers are the same. Do you have enough of the funds just to not have to do a supplemental this year with that? Yeah. yeah. But I still think they should pass something to cover your butt. Because if the auditor sees that. They can do that, a memo to, to, so, to okay, reward so it. Do we need like to pass something company. tonight, Mr. Bridge? I'll probably have you do a resolution or something at the 20th. Okay. So what Mike, when the mayor and I were discussing was, you know, um, if you got 26, maybe you, you, you take the bottom 13, you know, who maybe don't work a lot or, you know, and they get 50 and mm -hmm. the top 13 get the 100. That would be, that would be right at about just a shade under two grand. Uh, if the other city employees were spending the other three, that puts us right at five, a little less. And between uh, this and this, there's money in this year's yeah. budget, so we don't have to change the budget. Yeah, we'll have to change the budget. We can yeah, I can, get, I can get with Chief Gallagher, and we can sit, me, between me and him, we can sit down and figure yeah. it out. So, again, we do that, then the resolution will come. On the 20th. Is it an emergency? Uh, it, it, no, it can't do emergency resolutions. It'd be, it'd be emergency. emergency. Or, what, 
Yeah, it'd be a resolution. I, I mean, I can do it by emergency ordinance. Um, I don't know how that would come out. Resolutions take effect immediately. No, the resolution has a 15-day waiting period. It'd still be. But if we did it on the 20th, be. we'd still be able to have it by by, by, by the Christmas, by the Christmas party. party. They would. You could do it by mid-December. Yeah. Okay. I just don't know. But yeah, Colleen has a busy month, so we got to take into account water shut off. I just want to get it do. in the table. Well, I just okay. want to make sure that if they do it on the 20th, you can't really start. I mean, I guess you can start yeah. working on it, but yeah. after the 5th. Would this go just like out. into a regular payroll check, or would it be a separate? Well, it, it's nicer to have it separate, because I, I would rather do it. I think it I would rather have that. promotes more. Right. Otherwise, some people don't even look at their bottom line on right. their pay stubs. So, okay. so speaking, of, speaking for myself and the people in the department, I know our people, they're not looking at a dollar amount. It's they're looking at the, res the recognition that you guys mm -hmm. recognize them, that they're doing something extra, that they're actually up, out there, you know. Well, actually, I don't have to tell you this, I'm sure, but we're not taking them, so please exclude yourself from your bonus. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> please exclude yourself from the bonus because we're not taking any here. Obviously. I would not anyway, sir. I, I understand. This one. I, I won't take one either. What? <laughs> Nobody offered you any. <laughs> oh, that's right. <clears throat> I still think we ought to share in that. <laughs> All right. In our, That's for you guys to, to have the further discussion. But as long as we have that approval from you from a legislative standpoint, I think it'll make Miss Harris a little bit we'll, more comfortable. We'll get it in the payroll before Christmas, the first available <coughs> payroll okay. after it's effective and before. So, Miss Harris is this, I'm going to say actually this close to getting a clean budget award. I mean, this close. Cool. And once we do that, that signifies to our lenders, to everyone else, our bond rating is going to go up. Testament to what Colleen's done over the course of the year since she's been with us. Yeah. So we're trying not to do anything that could could potentially impact that clean budget award because it's going to take um, us to not a completely different level, but it's going to help us out mm -hmm. in the future. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This this right here is is our okay. our money. It's our it's already been set it. It's in the appropriations, um, and when the auditors say as long as it's appropriated, it's taxpayer money on your budgets. It's different. So now you still go through with the, you know, okay. what you mm -hmm. want to do. Do you need anything from us tonight to move forward with it? No, I'm just going to bring it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Make a lot of people happy. Anyone else? <laughs> what should I do? The resolution of the emergency ordinance. Oops, excuse me. I think whatever is going to make her life easier. It doesn't I'm matter. On the I'm sorry in what it is. <laughs> I need to know what you guys want as far resolution. as resolution. 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 First, you said resolution as opposed to an ordinance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ordinance. Okay. okay. Emergency I just want to make sure we're all on the same page with the resolution. All righty. Anything else from your side? Guys, well, Ms. Harris, thank you very much for the report and the and all the number crunching and work and headache and stress and screaming. And I actually want to budget. Do you ever just cut loose and like you hear a scream come from her office every now and again? No, she works. She works from home when she has really stressful days. So all righty. If I get busy, I don't talk. And good luck tomorrow, Ms. Harris. Your husband's having surgery, correct? Right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right, well, council. Me too. Motion to adjourn. Second. No move. No, no, no. Motion by Mr. Roadwall to adjourn. Second by Ms. Eggleston. Um, go down the row. Um, Councilman Cook. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Councilman Lindsay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Councilman <laughs> Roadwall. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Uh, Councilman Eggleston. Yes. We're adjourned. So. Adjourned. Have a good evening.